A little something sweet and savory to serve at the end of your taco party. These are quesadillas de gloria. Now, if you're gonna serve tacos to your friends and family, don't you wanna end in with something sweet? I know I do. Well, I was at this event at the Culinary Institute of America one time, and I met this chef named Ceci Gonzalez from Monterrey, and she made what I'm gonna make for you. I call them quesadilla de gloria because it is a combination of savory and sweet. I know that will appeal to a lot of you because it has savory cheese and then these little gloria candies. Now, if you haven't tasted gloria candies, they're available in all of the Mexican grocery stores and they are unbelievably good. They are made from goat's milk, so a little cajeta-like caramel, and then they're studded with pecans, which are native to northern Mexico. I love these things. So you buy them in little bags like this, and then take them out of their, um, this is the Sevillana brand. There's a couple of brands out there, but the Sevillana brand is the one that you see the most often. So take them out of their red cellophane, and you can see it looks like caramel with a lot of pecans in them. And then I'm gonna cut them up into little bits. Okay, very few ingredients here. I've got some flour tortillas, the chopped up Gloria candy, some shredded cheese. You can use anything from cheddar cheese to jack cheese. This is a type of artisan jack that we use in our restaurant. I've got a little bit of um, butter here that I'm going to put on this preheated griddle. I have it sort of a medium heat and I'm going to put down some of this butter to because it makes these taste so good. Okay, so I'm gonna kind of spread that butter around here. You don't need too much of it, but you'll see at the end how beautiful it makes these. Then I'm gonna put three five inch flour tortillas down here. And on top of that, I will spread the cheese. It's about an ounce of cheese, so it's not too much on any one of them. So you spread it out, and it's gonna be an equal amount of the Gloria candy. So you can see how I'm saying that they're like savory and sweet at the same time. Um, but boy, I love these things, and everybody that tastes them really loves them as well. Okay, so that is the right amount of cheese down. Now we'll divide the Gloria candies over the top. It's been about a couple of minutes now. I always peek underneath to see if they're getting some browning going on there, but I'm looking to see that the cheese is melted here. And now I'm just gonna fold them over like that. So you've got your little kind of quesadilla shape here. And the last one here. Yeah, you don't wanna leave them on so long that they get crispy and start cracking. And we're gonna leave them for a couple minutes longer for that caramel to soften and mix with the cheese. I'll turn them a couple of times as uh, they are browning. Okay, we're gonna take these off. I hear a little sizzling cheese on the side, some that has come out one of the, the sides there. And then I'm gonna cut them in half. So I make these little triangles because that is such a nice thing to be able to serve to people and so I'm going to put them on here like this so that they have a pretty little look. I like to sprinkle them with just a little bit of sugar over the top. It will stick to the buttery exterior of this and there you have it. Um, your little quesadillas de gloria, I call them, after the candy that is here, savory and sweet and so incredibly satisfying.